All right, we're going to introduce one more new uh, topic. This one's going to utilize the gyro sensor. The gyro sensor is on top of your robot. It has some like side-to-side -side arrows on it. And what this does is it measures how many degrees your robot is turning. So if we come down here to the bottom where it has this, uh, the yellow button, you will have to add this block if you haven't done that already. Um, so you will have to download it from the LEGO website and then you're going to come into block import and it's called this gyro. So make sure that you've done that. If you haven't done that, you won't have this yet. Um, but once you ha add that on, what we're going to do is we're going to start off just by kind of resetting the gyro sensor to make sure that it's uh, measuring it correctly. So the first thing that we're going to do is just come in here. We're going to change it from measure and rate, and we're just going to go ahead and set that there. Then we're going to do it one more time. And this time we're going to say measure and angle. And what we're doing with that, why we're doing that is we want it to reset. We want to basically calibrate it so that it will give us the most accurate reading possible. When we run this, we have to make sure that our robot is sitting still. So set it on the ground, uh, make sure it's not moving, run it, and then that will make it so that it since it's not running, it's going to detect the rate and the angle, and since it's not changing, it's going to know that it's at zero, or it's not, it hasn't moved at all. It takes a little bit of time for it to work, so what we want to do then is just go ahead and um, set a weight block, something like 0.1, just enough time for it to kind of uh, actually register that, and then before it moves on to the next step. Then, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and have our robot start turning. And we're going to use our move steering block. And I'm going to go ahead and have it turn at a, set that angle, turn angle steering to 50, set our power to 50, and I'm going to turn it to on. Then I'm going to come back down and I'm going to choose another weight block. This time I'm going to change it though to my gyro sensor and I'm going to say change an angle. And what this is going to do is it's going to change and it's going to look for the angle that I want to make a turn. If I want to make it do a 90 degree turn I can go ahead and just put 90 degrees or 90 there and that will tell it how many degrees it should turn. Then what we can do is we can put our move steer one more move steering block in and say off. And now what will happen then is it, as we go through the whole thing again, it's going to reset the gyro sensor, both the rate and the angle. It's going to wait just a tenth of a second. Then it's going to start moving and steering the robot. Once the robot has moved 90 degrees, then it's going to go ahead and turn the steering off. So our robot now will only move 90 degrees and then it will stop. All right, so let's go ahead and try it and run that and see how that works. Okay, so I've got my robot or I got my program loaded onto my robot and I'm going to go ahead and run it and you'll see it just turned 90 degrees exactly like what we wanted it to do.